Hello everyone and welcome to another new episode of Animal Crossing with Dale Monk where we go on a new island tour. And today it looks like we've got a fight, uh, a fight. Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of Animal Crossing with Dale Monk where we're going to go on another island tour today. And this time, it looks like we've got a flight for Crooklyn. Uh, yeah. So, the person who owns this island was telling me that they're from Brooklyn in New York. And they wanted to create an island that was very, um, very reminiscent of Central Park and a lot of the other areas in, like, other parks in New York City. So, yeah. I personally have never been up to New York. I've driven through it a couple of times on my way to Boston, but I've never physically stopped in the city. I want to. I would love to go check out Broadway and I want to go check out Central Park and, you know, do all the touristy things, but that is probably going to be a vacation a long ways down the road. So, yeah. Uh, the only experience that I've ever had as far as Central Park goes is probably the movies. But going over the flyover, this is very beautiful so far. I like how symmetrical everything is. Like, it's really cool. Oh, wow, and they got the, the natural green mums right there. And there she is. <laughs> That's an interesting cus uh, custom pathing. And I also haven't had a chance to look at what villagers they have. So, yeah, we're going to check that out as soon as Orville lands the seaplane. There we go. Here's the map. So we have two islanders. We have Alex and Cynthia. They have Lucha. Ooh, I've never seen Lucha before. Uh, Fuchsia, Alice, Mo, Tad, Cherry, Shep, Blair, Pate, Pate, Pat, Pat, I don't know, and Kid. Um, I love the the symmetry of this island. Like all the villagers are up at the top. They've got this cute little pathway going around everything. There's um, it, like the river is very boxy and straight. I don't know. That just as much as I love cottagecore islands and as much as I love like the natural layout of islands, I really, really enjoy when everything is linear, like personally. But let's see, that is a very interesting custom bath. Welcome to Crooklyn. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, let's open. Ooh, a blue rose crown. How do I look, fetching? I look beautiful. All right, after you, my dear. Oh, first stop is Lady Liberty herself. <laughs> Mandatory Statue of Liberty, as you have to do. I mean, come on. Also, that is the funniest, like, signage I have ever seen. <laughs> Please scoop up after your dogs. This is beautiful. Very, very lovely little area. And then heading up to this cute little, um, little park in a cafe area. Yep, I can see that. This little cafe. Grab my coffee, have a seat, munch on this cupcake. Also, someone left their laptop. That's, that's not safe. Don't leave your laptop just hanging out there. Let's see. That's pretty with the purple and the pink flowers. That's cool. A little butterfly garden. I still think that Flick needs to get on it and stop making the... Oh, the hybrids garden. Okay, yeah, I see that. He needs to stop making the, the butterfly model so huge and making the fish model so tiny because that is not how the world works, Flick. This, oh, look at the little train. I love this. 
the subway. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I am so scared to take the subway. The shops, complete with a bunch of butterfly models. Ooh. <laughs> Again, I just love how symmetrical it all is. Oh, hey, pink Power Ranger outfit. Are they open? They're open. And up to the apple orchard area, like the apple having. Ooh. How cute is this little playground? This is adorable. And I also really love that all the flowers are in bloom right now. Oh my gosh, yes. That is fantastic. Okay. All the chessboards set up in Union Square. Now I really want to go. Like this island is making me want to go to New York City. And a little dog picnic area. Oh, well, yeah, a picnic area. Yep. Very lovely. I love the race cars. Parking lot. Oh. Isn't New York City just one giant parking lot? Like with all the traffic, you just can't go anywhere. The messy homes. It's like Orlando. It's just so, like, especially during rush hour, forget it. You're not moving anywhere. Resident rep. Okay, so yeah, it looks like her boyfriend or husband or something, brother, I don't know, has the, the island. And then she's just the second house on it. That's cool, though. Oh my gosh. Residential area. I love how it's just, it's so pretty. Okay, so that's Pate, I think. They all have their own yards. Yeah, I can tell. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Everybody has like, and it's like all the fences match their yards. Also, I have Cherry on my um, Northern Hemisphere Island. I need to give her a cute yard like that. I love it. Oh my gosh. Like, not only do the fences match everybody's houses, the, the flowers match too. You guys did a great job on this. My goodness. Like, all the furniture seems to match. It really reflects each of their personalities. Uh-oh. Ooh, a secret beach area for red. I don't have a... I don't have one. That's okay, we don't have to go down there. Red's area. Yeah, I like that. I don't have a um, ladder, so I can't get down. But that's okay, we don't need to go down. Ooh, I like this. You know, it's so cool seeing like all the different items in this game and seeing what everybody else can do with them. So like, I know the last couple islands that we've been to, the they've all had basically the same like Celeste DIY stuff and everybody has done something different with them and it's incredible. Oh, cool basketball area. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so there's a basketball area and there's a soccer area. Yep, recreation. Very nice. And a wrestling arena. 
Are you gonna pick red or blue? Wait, you can customize the sides of those? I did not know that. A Stonehenge? What's it doing in, in New York City? What's it doing in Brooklyn? Oh, that's beautiful. That is very nice. Yep, we have to rinse off before we jump in the pool. That's cool how it's a different custom pattern with the um, actual beach ball on top of it. It looks like ripples. Sorry, I got distracted by how beautiful that was. Are we gonna skip that for now? I see some wedding stuff. Okay, it looks like we're gonna cross over this bridge first. That's cool. Here's the moon. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Ooh, what's, what's up here? What's this? Sorry, I got distracted by some cool things. Bonfire area, yes. Ooh. Is this an outside concert area? Band and barbecue pit, yep. I see that. That is so cool. There's a bunch of, di oh my gosh. There's a bunch of different barbecue things and everyone has their own little table. Ooh. Outside recreation area? Of course. Of course you gotta have an arcade. It's like a staple. I mean, come on. Ooh. I love this, the zen area. Complete with some heart-shaped stone padding. The campsite. And I love that lighthouse with the shell partition right there. That is very pretty. fine art. Okay, so this is like, oh, it's a fine dining area. Okay. I see what you did. That is clever. At first I thought it was a reception area for the wedding that's over. Oh, those are pretty. Uh, reception area for the, the wedding stuff over here. Ooh, and a pirate lagoon. How did I miss that pirate stuff? Well, that's neat. A little outside <laughs> porta potties. I don't know why I get such a kick out of the porta potty. Ooh, the beach stuff. Okay. Does New York have a beach? I know that's a dumb question, I, but I, like I said, I've never been there. I've been through it, and I think I've slept most of the time. Like, I've only driven through it once, personally. Every other time I was a kid in the back of my mom and dad's car. I like that Kotatsu. Very cool. Flamingos. Oh. Look at this. You can roast marshmallows and just kind of hang out and do your thing. That's awesome. Another fire pit. And we're back to the, the terracotta warrior statues. Oh. This is adorable. It's a fruit cafe, like a little seaside fruit stand. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> That's a cool sign, the tiki sign. What am I, oh, I was running into it. Okay, a tiki bar. Nice. I will gladly take something in a pineapple or a coconut. I don't care what it is. I love this little painting section. That's so cool. Is this like an outdoor ca um, not cafe? Outdoor library? Some painting and reading? Yeah. And then a fishing spot. Very cool. You're waiting for Flick. Yep, I don't blame you. Flick and CJ just... Again, another person has a shark. How do y'all keep getting your shark still? I need to I need to go catch a shark. Uh-oh. We got lost. Where'd you go? Where did you go? No. That's Kirkland. Okay, so she's back at her... There she is. <laughs> I got lost. I loved it. Well, that was that was incredible. And yeah, I could definitely see aspects of like of Central Park and all the different areas of Central Park. So thank you everyone for tuning into this video of Crooklyn. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and slap that like button. And if you really want to keep going, getting more content like this, by all means, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and link the Discord and my Twitter if you would like to showcase your own island on our channel. Um, and also, our Discord is getting to the point where, you know, I'd like to start promoting it a little bit more as more than just a, a way you can contact me. Um, so we've got things on there for every Animal Crossing player and also a few other nifty little things for other games that may or may not be eventually coming to the channel. But go ahead and join us on there and we will see you guys in the next video.